So what so what happened was I was looking for Star, what is it called? Everyday struggle. Um I used to listen to it but probably about a month ago. I couldn't I couldn't listen to it no more. And um I just got tired of yo, I, Star is the greatest Mount Rushmore. There is Howard Stern. Beside Howard Stern, there will be Star. Beside Star, there will be Wendy Williams. And now, I guess, you got to put Charlemagne up there. My Mount Rushmore of radio personalities. I don't know who you guys are. A lot of people can, um, you know, they have, they will have different opinions. But I got tired of Star really not knowing what he's talking about. I got tired of Star um, trying to prove academic wrong, but really, Act was chewing him up. Fact, though. Now, that show wouldn't have got canceled if Star would have came, if Star would have kept the energy he came in the door with. The first episode was fire. <laughs> it was fire. He chew academics head off every chance he get. That's entertainment. That's what I wanted to see. I don't know if the producers pulled him to the side and said, yo, you know, it's not a competition thing. Chillax, star. But if they would have kept that energy, that show would be through the damn roof. And uh, they added the guy Wayno on there. I think they should have did that from the giddy up when they got rid of Joe Buttons see people don't know mm, I'm not going to share the secret anyway um, people don't know what, what uh, Joe Buttons brought to the table is disagreement I, I gave it away right okay if you want to uh, do a show with multiple people the key to the success is not to agree with your counterparts or your co-workers might have you and um that's what they loved about the show that's what they loved about joe buttons that's what pushed everyday struggle the disagreement if star would have kept that same energy he came with on the first show by slam <laughs> slamming academics man I, I loved it that's the star i've been waiting for i can't wait to star return I can't wait. Only thing I'm concerned about is with Star. These new, these new millennials, they ain't having that disrespect. You'll find his, you'll, he'll be missing. What's that guy missing? He been missing for years. They say he's buried at the Yankee Stadium. Dang, I don't know his name, but he was a. Uh, like a little gangster, I think it is. Y'all y'all know who I'm talking about. Star will disappear and then never find his body. These young kids are sucker punch him during the show. He can say what he want, but he can't come with the, the same Star and Buck Wild energy. But Star need to be heard. His voice need to be heard on radio because it's nothing on YouTube no more. Nothing. I looked up the everyday struggle for, for about two weeks now. And I'm like, damn. You know, because what nothing on that I like is I don't need I can't even listen to the Breakfast Club no more. It's like everything is the damn same, and it's like damn, I need something new. So apparently, I went back to go hear what uh, Star was saying, and they gone. And I knew they was gonna be gone. I was gone first. So we need something new. I just seen uh, episode the first episode of Pull Up. Drink Champs Remastered. Uh, but they have Mano on there. I like Mano. Man, anybody, listen, you guys out there that have an opinion, all it takes is your phone. You can have your own show. I did two videos talking about the Drink Champs and about how Noriega, about some of the socks. You know, he don't mean it. It's entertainment. About T.I. And then I talked in a recent one about the Tony Rock situation. 
together they did like uh, almost 200,000 views. That's with my work clothes on, with my damn raggedy hat. <laughs> All you need is your phone.